Fussy. Morning, Teg. Daddy, where's Mummy? When I was little, my Mummy went away to look after Grandad. I'm here to look after you and Wooly, said Daddy. Let's get you dressed. Daddy just dumped my clothes on the bed. I like my clothes laid out like a scarecrow, I said. Let's get you dressed. When I got dressed, Daddy got it all wrong. Trousers? Daddy forgot my socks. Went on before my trousers. I got socks on first. I had to get dressed all over again. Arms, rid of those arms. Right, and there's Willie. Come on, let's go through and have some breakfast. Come on, we'll get your breakfast. At breakfast, Daddy poured my oaty flakes into a mountain. Daddy, I don't want to add a mountain flat. All right, would you? I like my oaty flakes poured flat. Right, take here's your milk. Then Daddy poured milk from the edges instead of the middle. Daddy, no. Well, can you make a hole for it? Daddy gave me the wrong spoon. Daddy, I want my special spoon. Oh, okay. Daddy's rubbish, isn't he? You get stuck in. After breakfast, Daddy wanted to play with my bricks. I didn't like Daddy playing with my bricks. Is that the way you're meant to do it? He got all the colours and shapes the wrong way round. I sat in my little house. After a big bit, Daddy said, Come on, Teg, we're going indoor sledging. Do some indoor sledging? Yay! Look! I've got your snowsuit and I've got your wellies. Come on then. Daddy had my waterproofs and my Wellington. When we arrived at the sledging, I was hungry. So Daddy took me for some lunch. I didn't like my lunch. My peas were next to my fish and not by my potatoes. I just ate the potatoes. The indoor sledging was inside. Daddy wanted me to put on my waterproofs. We need to get changed. No, I said. I wear my waterproofs outside, oh not inside. We can't go sledging then, said Daddy. Everything was wrong today. Nothing was just how I like it. Hey, Tig, always doing things in exactly the same way makes you feel safe and happy. But no one can know exactly how you like things to be done because everyone is different. Some things are important to one person, but not to another. No need to be fussy. Which sock goes on first or where the peas go on your plate doesn't matter. Putting on your waterproofs inside for a change won't spoil your day. Whee! It'll mean you can go inside sledging! <coughs> go for it, Tig! Stop fussing and have fun! Yes, I thought. There's no fun fussing. Daddy, can I put my wet... I like doing things differently today with my daddy. What do we say? Whoa. We had fun inside, indoor sledging in my waterproofs. When a lady saw Willie on my sledge, she nearly fell over. I don't like being fussy. I like having fun with everyone. And I love Willie. We've been scared since we were here. Thunder! When I was little, I liked big loud noises. Willie liked big loud noises too. Some big loud noises made me laugh. Some big loud noises made me jump. Some big loud noises made me shout at them. Quiet! Quiet! I like making big loud noises too. 
But one noise I didn't like was thunder. Mummy, Daddy! Thunder scares me. No one could stop thunder. Not even Daddy. You're quite safe. One day, Daddy took me and my friend Timmy yeah. to play in the park. It's looking a wee bit stormy. Thunderstorm? Maybe a thunderstorm. I didn't yeah, like thunder. Come on, said Daddy. On, we'll go ten pin bowling instead. I forgot about thunder. Put them here. I'd never seen okay. ten pin bowling before. Right. There were lots of big loud noises at ten pin bowling. <laughs> the noises. It was exciting. Do you know who's winning? The ten pin bowling was a game. When the ball got to the end of the lane, it hit the pin with a big right. loud big clatter. Watch me. The more pins that fell over, the bigger and louder the clatter. If you knocked over all the pins, it was a strike. It was the biggest clatter ever. We all played together, but the ball was heavy. So Daddy got a special rolling machine just for me. Let's see. We took Let's turns see. to roll Let's the ball Come on. and see how many pins we could knock oh, over. Sometimes none. Sometimes one. Sometimes lots. And push it. We never knew how many pins were going to fall over. When Daddy got a strike, we cheered. Ten pins clattering over. Hooray! Ten pin bowling was so much fun. When I went home, I forgot the stormy weather. I played ten pin bowling before bed. That night, I woke up. There was a big, clattering bang. I thought I was at the tent in bowling. I wasn't. It was thunder. I was scared. I hid under the bedclothes and cuddled Willy. Hey, Teague, no one likes thunder. Thunder can be scary. You never know when the bang will come next or how loud and clattery it will be. When you don't like something, think of something you do like. Tim Pin Bowling! Wait for the flash, roll the ball, and see how big the clatter will be. Flash! Roll the ball and... Clatter! I think we knocked over about five pins then. Flash! Roll the ball and clatter! That was a strike! Ten pins! Hooray! So go for it, Tig! See how loud the next bang will be! Yes, I thought! Thunder is scary, but not quite so scary when you have fun with the bangs! You okay, Tig? Daddy came running into my bedroom. He thought it was funny that I was playing ten pin bowling with thunder. Oh, oh, oh! And then I I don't like thunder, but I like ten pin bowling, and I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Me and my friend Angel to our painting day. Willy came too. Are you having fun, Angel? I was excited. I liked painting. You painted lots. That is such a good picture. Can you go to the toilet, Tick? No, I said. I wanted to paint. Angel looks funny. She got paint on her nose. Your nose! Let me clean your nose. Let me see. And then I thought, I do want to go to the toilet. Hey, girls, come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. We had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Take it. Are you okay there, 
Do you need the toilet? No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. The man was very clever. Yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. Daddy said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited. I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toilet. No, I said. I wanted to see the funny picture. It's funny! A lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Oh! Wind machines? No. No what? I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. I didn't want to go to the new, big, smelly toilet. Hey, Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Whoosh! Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oh! I love Willie. We've been scared since we were here. Museum of Imagination. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Timmy to a museum. Willie came too. There were lots of things to look at. Everything was old. Some of the old things were shiny. I could see my face. The shiny things looked new, but Timmy said the shiny things were old. That car might be very shiny, but it's very old. Timmy knew lots of things. Timmy showed me cars in a traffic jam. Those cars were in a traffic jam, and the lights turned green, boom, off they go. Timmy said, when the lights turn green, the cars will drive away up the wall. <laughs> Off they go! I waited for the cars to go. Beep, beep. But they didn't. <laughs> Timmy showed me bicycles on the ceiling. Timmy said the bicycles were in a race. That's a bicycle race up there. They're going to race round and round. Whee! I waited for the race to start. But it didn't. There were some big steam engines. The wheels were taller than me. Timmy showed me how to shovel coal to make the fire in the engine. Timmy showed me a flying train. That train's gonna take off and fly around the room. 
Timmy said, the train will blow its whistle and fly around the room. Woo! I waited for the train to fly, but it didn't. Outside there was a big boat. Timmy got very excited. That's a really old sail ship. Timmy told me the big boat was an old sailing ship. That sail ship's full of pirates. What's pirates, I said. Pirates have patches, they wave swords, they jump, tumble and they sail on big ships. Ha <laughs> ha! Why don't Tig and I go and do something else and you two go on the ship? I didn't want to go on the old ship. It was scary. Me and Mummy drew pictures. Timmy and Daddy had fun on the sailing ship. Hey Tig, Timmy knows lots of things, but Timmy doesn't know everything. Nobody does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but sometimes Timmy can make things sound a lot more exciting than they really are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Timmy has a big, big imagination and that's fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the cars won't really drive off up the wall. The bicycles won't really race round and round the ceiling and trains don't fly. <laughs> Timmy looked at the big old sailing ship and imagined pirates sailing the ocean. But any pirates would have left a long, long time ago. <laughs> so go for it, Tig, and have fun on the old sailing ship. Hey, and Tig, no worries, the ship won't sail away. Only in Timmy's imagination. Yes, I thought. Mummy, can I go on the sailing ship now? I want to see what it's like on the old sailing ship. So I went on the ship. The only pirates on the sailing ship were Timmy and me. Timmy's pirate was a scaredy pirate. He ran away from Wooly. <laughs> I like the old ship. I like Timmy's imagination. I love Willie. We've been scared since we were here. Supermarkets. When I was little, I went shopping with my mummy to a supermarket. And you'll see and you'll get a really good view. Yeah. What do you think we should get for Daddy? Willie came too. The supermarket was big. The supermarkets sold everything. Ironing boards. Ironing boards. Toasters. Televisions. Washing machines. We didn't buy a washing machine. Mummy wanted food. I told Mummy where to find things. Carrots. Carrots. A cabbage. Potatoes. Tomatoes, onions, a melon, a big melon. That's a heavy one. Oh. Apples, oranges, bananas. I'll pop them in the back there. Grapefruit. Two. Two. Yeah, let's get two. And a pineapple. The pink one. The pink ones. I didn't want to be in a trolley seat. Yeah, yeah, no, but what are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to do. Stay next to you. Stay next to me all the time. Good girl. Mummy said to keep close and hold onto the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Can you manage? I helped Mummy put things into the trolley. Milk. You're so strong. <laughs> Mummy pushed the trolley. That's lots and lots of toys. I saw a fire engine. The fire engine had a ladder on top. I picked up the fire engine to show Mummy. When I looked, Mummy wasn't there. Tig? 
I found down all the shelves and looked round the corner. Mummy wasn't there. Where was Mummy? I looked down some more shelves and some more shelves. No Mummy. I thought Mummy had left me. Mum, where are you? I thought I was all by myself. Then I saw Willie. Hi, I've lost my daughter. We're just in the toy section. Willie hadn't left me. Hey, Tig, Mummy hasn't left you, and Mummy hasn't run away. Mummy will be looking for you right now. Mummy loves you. Mummy will be just as worried as you are. You've just lost each other for a moment, that's all. When you ran up that way, Mummy was just behind you. <laughs> but when you turned the corner, Mummy didn't know which way you'd gone. You both keep moving around and missing each other. What a laugh! So the best thing for you to do is stay in one spot, here by the fire engines and me. Mummy will tell the store people and they will find you in no time. So we'll stay here and Mummy will come round the corner any minute. I waited in the one place. <gasps> Tig! And Mummy came round the corner. <laughs> I was so happy to see Mummy. Very much. Willie had a ride. The man was surprised to see Willie. <gasps> I got my toy spider. Right. Off we go. I love my mummy. I love Willie. We've been scared since we were me. The hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see Daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me when Daddy folded me up. I like the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mummy? That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Don't forget Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds, looking for their pajamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet Whoa. with strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy's still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better, but he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better, 
but he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly do do, diddly do. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at Angel's when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Whee! And then one day Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Shall I tell you the funny story about what happened? Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in the hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. And Silly daddy hasn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. It's only a size fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my daddy. And I love Willie. I love Willie and Willie loves me.